We've got green ins here. It um, used to be called set aside. I think it's pretty much the same thing. Green ins, so we're not allowed to cut it till the 16th of July. Fix that just now and try and get back to the field to finish. And take a tractor in, uh, fill the scoop with water so the, the cows have got a drink. Or I could make a V shape. Welcome back to another episode of Invercami Weekly. Um, so today we are actually, well it's Tuesday today. Apologies for the lack of videos recently. Uh, I've been on so many stag dudes, I've been so busy at work. In the last six weeks I've been to Poland, Perth races and Newcastle. So normal service has now resumed. So hopefully we'll get a video every Sunday now. Um, so today we're actually, it's, we've got green ins here. Um, it used to be called set aside. I think it's pretty much the same thing, green ins. So we're not allowed to cut it till the 16th of July. So it's after that date now. So I'm just going to take this fence down, take the baler through and I'm going to, um, bail it all today. So we've got two fields of greenings and we've got a neighbour's field to um, just a little bit of grass he's got to cut just to tidy it up for him. So I'm just going to make a start now. It looks like a good crop here. This field actually went down with a heavy wind. It was a really good crop and it went down so it's starting to die off a little bit. It's not as green as it was because it's been flat for a few days but obviously we couldn't cut it till the 16th of July because that's the rules uh, not to fertilize or anything any of this ground and um, we'll have to have a certain amount of acres to get through the door so this is just a way to start it and um, just a way to check my phone what's the date today the 19th so I think effectively well I'm sure it's the middle of the month I'm sure it's the 16th so it's the 19th now so we're good to go so that's the way to cut it so as I say it's a good swath here and um, my dad tells me there's an even better swath up in Woodhead and then we've got that neighbour's field to tidy up as well today so better get going Ooh, that sugar sweet You got what I need Sipping on the potion All that good emotion Just my kind of heat Keep it on me beat Testing by the potion Love it, this the potion Things not going massively well. Just had to go to the smiddy and get a burst pipe fixed. So never had any pressure in the chamber. So I'm just going to fix that just now and try and get back to the field to get finished. At least finishing that field today. Take two. The pipe is fixed. Quick refreshment. Cheers.
Well, that didn't go to plan. Uh, Raven had to come out and repressurize that pipe. The chamber still wasn't under pressure, so uh, started bailing about 11 o'clock, and that's half six now, and that's me finished that field. So about 60 bales in about seven hours. So that's pretty depressing. Just walking back down the field now to go and start milking the cows. I think mum and dad have got them in ready to go, but not the day I'd hoped. Especially with me stuck in the processing shed tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to get the rest bailed potentially till tomorrow evening or maybe even Friday. Um, so it's a little bit annoying really to be honest with you, but these things happen I guess, but we're back and up and going, so hopefully the rest of the fields will be quite easy to do. I should have been able to do it all today, but that field should have been an hour and a half's work and that should have been all done, but wasn't to be. So I'll go and get the milking done and we'll see you maybe tomorrow. That's the two wee paddocks done at Ewan's um, and now I'm into the last field of greening. So this is our second field of greening. You can see actually that bottom section there that was cut for first cut silage um, and then we had to leave a certain amount of acres for greening. I think it's called greening, set aside greening, same thing. Basically you can't apply fertiliser or anything like that to the ground. It just needs to be left natural and it can't be, well, I've kind of already explained it at the start of the video, it can't be cut till mid-July. So um, this is me just in this field now. Um, it's quite a good crop, but obviously being Friday now, it's kind of wilted a fair bit. Um, so I reckon there'll be uh, maybe 50, 60 bales in this field. Um, so I'm just waiting to start baling that now, and then that'll be all the silage baled until the second cut. So we'll go and get cracking now. Obviously I've been around the field, I think I've been around two or three times now, so there's a few bales lying about. But try and get finished up as quickly as possible because it's Friday, I'm nearing home.
that's that field finished. Um, dreaming a little bit with the 50, 60 bales. I was thinking it was the same acreage as the one at home we started with, but I think that's probably about 25. So in total, probably roughly around about 100 bales baled between that three bits. So it's not too bad. Right, home for lunch. It's Saturday morning and cows are in a new field this morning. They're right at the top of that second field. So I am away to put the roller, the fence and wire up in this field. The only slight issue I've got is that the grass is quite well on at the shelter down at the bottom of the field and the water trough is just directly to the left of that gate there. Obviously the gate's at this side. So normally I would just go the top side of the road all the way along, but it's given them a hell of a lot of grass. Um, you can see it goes all the way around there, around that corner. It's given them a hell of a lot of grass. So what I'm proposing and doing, me and Dad have had this debate, whether we take a tractor in for a water trough and just go straight down um, there and take a tractor in, uh, fill the scoop with water so the, the cows have got a drink, or I could make a V shape, maybe go down through there and then back up again, and that'll just cut a bit of grass off them. Because I feel like it's too much for one day. and. I could give them enough for two days, but I just know that they will just pig out um, and there'll be none left tomorrow and they'll be their muck will be thin as anything because they've ate so much grass. So what I'm proposing and doing is going with the V. It won't look the tidiest, but I think it's the best option um, as long as they don't go through the fence because of this. But I think that's the best option. So I'll get a drone up um, and I'll try and, I'll run the wire straight bend there. I'll take a peg along with me so I can pin it down there. Um, and then I'll join the dots with the, the poles I've got left. That's only a slight worry. My, I've not got a massive amount of fencing posts, so that's the only slight worry with the V is I'm gonna need a lot more. So hopefully I've got enough to make it work. If not, I'll maybe have to go with the scoop idea a bit. I thought the V idea might be just as easy and as quick. We don't have to keep an eye on the scoop and go back and fill it with water and stuff like that because the water trough's just there for them to help themselves. So we'll go get started. Hope I've got enough pegs. Emails that I haven't read. Got a break pad squeaking that I gotta check, but I don't mind it. Cause I got her riding on that shotgun side. With that, take me to the sunrise. Look inside her eyes. Now we're flying. Yeah, we're flying. We got 10 miles of OP Road. That's in the rain. Who's out now in the new field? So, managed to get a V down to here, then back up to the water trough, and um, save us a bit of grass, a bit of weeds in this bottom corner here as well, unfortunately. But there should be plenty of grass there for them today, anyway. Um, a fresh bite of grass, and um, it's grown actually quite well the way up the field. Um, I am wondering, depending on the grass growth in the other two fields, if we pull them out of here, maybe before they get to the top, because this was our first cut silage field, it would be quite nice maybe to get, maybe cut a quarter of it, maybe half of it for silage bales as well, just to keep our stocks high. But I'm not actually sure, it'll just depend on the growth of the other two fields really. The one there that we're in previously, um, 
before the last field had just finished. It's coming on a little bit. Obviously, the, the field that just left is no grass just now at all, but that's the beauty of having three fields to rotate with just the number of cows we have. Um, don't have to push it so quickly because we've only got about 70 cows in here. Um, um, and obviously we've got about 30 acres to spread them over. So it works quite nicely once the first cuts off. So we'll just be rotating in between this field, uh, that field across there and the one beyond that. And then that'll be them until, well, until the weather breaks. Maybe for a lucky, we'll maybe have them out just October, November-ish time. For lucky, we might still be out in November, but normally the weather dictates that and the fields start getting really mucky at the gates. Because when it gets wet, the cows just shelter in behind the trees and just make such a mess of the field. So that will dictate what kind of really happens. But that's them into the third field. Um, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. I will actually be back next week.